Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. And what we're going to do in this video is focus on Todoist again. Todoist is one of those task management tools that you can use across your day in a really effective way and it's very open and clear, very similar to the likes of Evernote and Trello. It does allow you to do stuff that many other task managements uh, don't allow you to do. So to embrace that sort of positivity and obviously that sort of um, balance of being able to use these tools, let's go into detail on how you can add context to each of your tasks inside of Todoist. So as you can see, this is just my afternoon tasks or my evening tasks. You can see the five of them are listed there, but there are some like sort of mini tags below each of the tasks. So I'm just going to demonstrate what one of the tasks and context looks like when I add them into Todoist. Now I do this about maybe 50% to 60% of the time when I'm writing a task in, as long as there is context points around it and it's not something I can do quite easily. So the first thing I do is add a priority. Obviously there's priority one, two, and three. You can base that off your own priorities, um, but make sure that you know priority one is used quite well. I also add hashtags, I'm sorry, I also add uh, app mention labels, which is available in premium. But basically these allow me to section off different areas of my energy level, different areas of what I need to do this, to complete the task, and other items like that, which I'll go into detail in a minute. I also tag using the hashtag the project folder, which makes it automatically go in there. And as you can see, it goes into the um, task list quite uh, in a refined manner. I Normally what I do is I add a specific time to complete that task, um, but that's just something that I do. So as you can see in labels, uh, down the side, I've got a fair amount of labels. This is something that I've built up over time. I've tweaked them as I go. Um, and it's something that you can do that. To, you can do that sort of method too. So as you can see, um, I've got the timings based on just how like the most popular times to complete tasks. I never really have that many tasks that go over a full hour to do or that I do over an hour because obviously I want to take a quick break, like two minutes just to refresh the brain. But I have five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes as well as an hour as well. So whenever, like, what's the benefit of using this? So whenever I've got a, a task labeled with one of these, I can click into it and I can actually see all of the tasks I do with 20 minutes. So if I click into those labels of 20 minutes, I'll see that I've got 14 tasks that I can complete there. The next section is about your context in terms of your situation. So what I tend to do is I tag them with iPhone or Mac or offline. This basically gives me a good understanding of what, what I need to do to complete the task. So if I click on iPhone, I know that if I've got my iPhone on me, I can complete this task solely. Same with Mac um, and offline is stuff that I know I don't need internet access to do. So that's pretty handy. And then finally, I have this thing that's based off, um, I think it's based off a bit of getting things done, a bit of um, Tim Ferriss and a bit of uh, the Productivity Ninja, but basically organizing your time based on your energy levels. So inactive ones that take least energy levels or, you know, thought provoking um, stuff, I won't, I'll keep it inactive. Active um, is sort of mid range, like I just need a slight amount of energy and proactive is where I need to be focusing and putting my attention into it, heavy tasks. I know I'm going to take a while. The other thing I do is use the filters feature. You can also use the filters feature to organize the priority of your tasks and add maybe some labels that uh, help you know interact some of your tasks together, so bring them together, and it will help you complete them faster. So you can put priority one and proactiveness, um, which means that you've got obviously your high energy tasks as well as your most needed complete tasks, which will help filter basically throughout all of these. There are other ones and there's good ways to do it, but the thing that I sort of really just go off is is seeing them in inside the main feed. Once you see them inside the main feed, you can be like, oh, okay, I've only got 20 minutes. I can click on that, see all of the tasks that I just need to do, or I've got an iPhone, I'm on a walk. <laughs> I can complete some of the tasks there. But anyway, that's a really basic understanding of how I use these. You can add as many uh, filters and as many labels as you like. Um, I think you'll enjoy some of the ones that are out there because there are some great ones. But uh, let me know how you get on. Uh, do you have something like this set up already? Is this something that you're looking to implement in the future? 
because, I mean, I'd love to hear in the comments whether this is something that you're using at the moment. I do think that uh, a lot of people are missing out, especially if they've got premium. One of the features that you can also do with this is a smart schedule feature, so you can actually take all of the tasks that you have, maybe that have obviously the context that you don't need for the day, and you can reschedule them using the smart schedule feature individually or by removing them and adding them to the um, bulk smart schedule. This is a pretty handy feature, and because it knows all of those priorities now and how you do them, it gets even smarter. So those labels will play dividends to you as you grow with your Todoist account. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this was a short one, obviously, so let me know how you get on with setting this up, and let me know if you've got any questions, either through email or through the comments, and I'll definitely help. Anyway, guys, have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.